Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video for you. So I was recently asked to make a video um, showing my whole Burberry perfume collection. So, and to just kind of talk a, a little bit about each one. So here we are, I am going to jump right in. I do have quite a few from Burberry. So I'm gonna start with one that was just recently sent over to me by a dear friend. This is the reformulated version of Burberry Weekend. I have had the original formulation and I did end up decluttering it. The original formulation was, I don't know, there was something that was, um, it was almost headache inducing for me. It was, it's a really, really sweet floral and it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but there was something about the original formulation that was just it was too much, it was too rich, and it was almost nauseating to me. I knew that I wanted to pick up a bottle of the new formulation because I had a feeling they were gonna lighten it up, which is exactly what happened. Oh, it's still a stunning, sweet spring floral. It's got a touch of indole to it as well, which might be the original formulation was to my nose, it was really indolent. And something about that, paired with the sweetness of it, it was a little bit nauseating. This one, it's, it's everything has just been lightened up. Still a tiny bit indolent. Still such a beautiful, sweet floral though. It's got a touch of greenness to it. It's beautiful. I love this one. Um, it's a little bit, I don't wanna say it's vintage smelling, but it definitely smells more vintage than it does modern, I'll say that. Um, it definitely reminds me of like a really beautiful 80s floral. I don't think that that's where everybody's minds will go though. I think that if you are, you know, somebody younger, I think you would smell this and just smell a really beautiful, sweet floral. I definitely get a vintage vibe from it though. I love it. It's beautiful. I adore this new formulation. I'm super excited to pull this one out and start wearing it in the warm weather. I'm very excited to have this one back in my collection. So anyways, that is Burberry Weekend. This next one, I very rarely hear anybody ever talk about this perfume, but this is an amazing perfume. This is a fragrance called Burberry The Beat, and oh, I love this one. Again, hardly ever hear this one spoken about. This one is light and clean and fresh. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. So this one has a touch of cardamom in it, which gives it this beautiful warmth. It's a tea fragrance, so it's got this beautiful tea note. It's got a lot of citrus in the top, bergamot, I think some mandarin. It's got white musk in the base, which is where the light kind of cleanliness comes from. And it's also got some iris in it. So there's definitely not a ton of iris. It's not super prominent, but it gives it just the tiniest touch of a powderiness. It's gorgeous. This is another one that it's not, it doesn't smell vintage, but it definitely doesn't smell super modern. It's very classic smelling, very, very classic smelling. It's a very soothing fragrance. Burberry fragrances are some of the best designer fragrances on the market. Every single perfume that we are going to talk about today will performs amazingly well you're gonna get at least six hours out of any Burberry fragrance. Um, most of them last much longer than that. I mean, six hours is gonna be like the lowest end of the spectrum. A lot of these are 12 plus hour fragrances, seriously. They're nuclear, they last forever, they pour perform incredibly well. Um, they're just beautiful. A lot of them are quite linear. That is one thing that I can that I will say about Burberry perfumes. A lot of them, some of them definitely develop as you wear them, but a lot of them are linear. They smell the same from the time you spray them on until the deep dry down. A lot of them smell quite the same. That's my experience anyways, um, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all because you know what you're getting. When you spray it on, you know you're pretty much gonna smell like that for the, the wear time. But yeah, Burberry The Beat is, it's amazing. I don't even know if you can find this anymore. Um, I'm gonna have to look and see because this is a really good one. It's one of my favorite Burberry perfumes actually. Uh, so anyways, that is Burberry The Beat. Okay, next, this one is an old signature of mine. I love it. I only love the original formulation though, which I tracked down a bottle of the original formulation. This is just Burberry for women. I 
absolutely adore the original formulation. This one is interesting because it's got a ton of fruits in it. This one is peach and pear and apricot. It's got black currant in it. This one has got sandalwood. It's got vanilla in the base. I think it's got moss in it. And it's really, really gorgeous. I, when I used to wear this, I wore it for, I went through a few, uh, well, I went through a couple of bottles of this. So I wore it for maybe like a year and a half, solid, um, like every single day, this was my perfume. And I loved it. I, when I wore it back then, it reminded me of like a cozy wool sweater or something. It's got this really beautiful coziness about it. Um, the new formulation is way too peach heavy to my nose. I'm not the biggest fan of peach in perfumes, so I don't mind it if it's done really well. I definitely don't mind a fresh peach, but I don't like a heavy peach note or a syrupy peach. Um, and the new formulation is just, it's way too heavy on the peach, or it could be the peach apricot combination is just too much for me. This one is not. You get the fruits, but for me, this one is all about the base notes in the original formulation. You get mostly the sandalwood and the moss and the vanilla, and I think it's got some cedar in it, and you definitely get more of the base notes, and the, the fruits almost just keep it from getting too heavy, they're definitely there, but they're pretty indistinct smelling as well. In fact, I probably smell the apricot more than anything else in, as far as the fruits goes. It's such a strange little fragrance, but I love it. But again, you do, I, I do only like the original formulation. The new formulation is a no-go for me. It's way too, too fruity. It's super sweet. It's sickly and just kind of a mess, but the original is so good. It's warm, it's cozy, and again, it reminds me of pulling on a fuzzy sweater. So anyways, that is Burberry, just Burberry woman. Okay, next I have a, um, I've got a decant. This is my Burberry Black. I have had in the past, I had bottles of my Burberry as well as my Burberry Blush. Um, neither of them were for me. I think they're stunning perfumes, but there was something headache inducing about, um, especially about my Burberry. My Burberry blush was fine, but it just, I don't know, I didn't love it. There was nothing like about that perfume that really spoke to me. My Burberry is a stunning fragrance, but again, there was something headache inducing about that. So I had, um, I've had many people tell me to try my Burberry Black. So I went ahead and picked up a decant of it from FragranceNet. Oh my gosh. This one is perfection. This one is my Burberry, but this is like a, this is an ambery my Burberry. This one is my Burberry. If you amp up the rose, it's like a candied rose. It's like a jammy sweet rose. So amp up the rose and then amp up the patchouli in the base but the patchouli is not, it's not overpowering. I don't know, this one is so good. I need to pick up a full bottle of my Burberry Black because this one is amazing. It's my favorite of every my Burberry that I've smelled. I think they're all beautiful, do not get me wrong. I think the original my Burberry is stunning. I think it was the Freesia. I think there's Freesia in my Burberry and I think the Freesia was very, very prominent on my skin, and I'm not the biggest fan of Freesia. Um, if I remember correctly, I think that that's what did it and that that's what made it kind of headache inducing for me. I just don't love Freesia. But this one, oh my goodness, I guess it's because the candied or the jammy rose is so prominent in the middle of this one. And then that ambery patchouli sweet base. I'm obsessed with this one. I don't talk about my Burberry Black enough. I guess because I just have a decant, I need to go ahead and look for a full bottle of it. The whole line is amazing, but my Burberry Black is just, oof, it's special. So anyways, that is my Burberry Black. Next, I've got two bottles of Burberry London. The big bottle is the original formulation. I've got about an inch, I guess, an inch of liquid left in that one. So that's the original formulation, and then the smaller bottle is the, um, is the newer formulation. They're both stunning. The older formulation is a little bit richer smelling and lasts longer. This is a beautiful sweet floral. It's a pretty straightforward sweet floral. There's not a lot more going on in this. It's pretty much citrus in the top and then a ton of flowers. 
every flower you can think of, peony, rose, jasmine, honeysuckle, tiare flower. It's a beautiful floral. And then light notes in the base, I think musk and maybe some cedar or something very light, nondescript woods really. Um, this one is just all about the sweet, light florals. It's beautiful. It's not overpowering. It's not overdone. Again, the older formulation is a little bit richer. The newer formulation is a little bit lighter and just does not perform quite as well as the older formulation. I love both of them though. I think that this is absolutely still worth owning. Um, they didn't butcher it by any means. It's not quite as good as the older formulation, but it's not bad at all. And again, they didn't butcher it. It's still very, very, it still smells identical. The only difference really is that this one's just a little bit lighter smelling and just performs not quite as well as this one. Both stunning, super glad to have both of, them in my, both of them in my collection. This is an amazing scent from Burberry. This is signature scent worthy, absolutely. It's a perfect floral fragrance, um, super easy to wear, super safe. I think it would be a, a totally fine blind buy if you like florals. Out of this one, I mostly get tangerine and honeysuckle and peony. Those are the flowers that I smell the most, so it's amazing. I love this one. So anyways, that is Burberry London. Okay, next we have got Burberry Brit. This um, this is the Eau de Parfum formulation. I have not smelled the Eau de Toilette, but this is a beautiful almond and pear. It's like candied almond and pear. I love this one. This one smells so amazing out of the bottle. It's not smelling fantastic on my skin right now. Um, I'm gonna put it away until next year and then pull it out again next year and try again. Oh, it smells so, so good sprayed in the air or out of the bottle. It's doing something weird on my skin though. I can't even explain it to you. I think it's something to do with the pear. The pear note is going almost, I don't wanna say sour because sour is not the word but it's just doing something weird on me. But this is an amazing fragrance. If you like candied almond, sweet candied almond and pear, there's a little bit of powderiness. It's amazing. It's an amazing scent. I absolutely love this. I love pear. Pear is one of my favorite. Pear might be my most favorite fruit note. I just love it and yeah, this is an amazing pear fragrance. And if you love almond too, and I love almond as well. Um, it lasts forever. Again, every single one of these fragrances is going to last, is gonna perform really, really well. Even the sheer formulations or lighter formulations, they all perform really well. So yeah, this is beautiful, yummy, semi-gourmand, a little bit perfumey, sweet, but not too sweet, light, um, but still definitely has some body to it, so it's not gonna just you know, wear away really quickly. It's gorgeous. You can wear this any time of year. You can wear this in the heat, in the cold. It doesn't matter. It's amazing. So anyways, that is Burberry Brit. Okay, next, this is one of my most cherished kind of rare fragrances that I've got in my collection. This is Burberry Brit Red, and I adore this. I only pull this out around Christmas time. This is a gingerbread perfume. It's got, it's got such a strange note breakdown. It's like, gingerbread and rose and rhubarb. It's got jasmine and patchouli and vanilla and it's gorgeous. It smells like like a spicy gingerbread fruit tart. It's really, really beautiful. I love this one. It's hard to find. Um, I did, I found another bottle of it. It was an almost full bottle of it too on Mercari this past year, like back in November or something. Like an idiot, I didn't grab it right away. And when I went to go back to get it, it was gone and I was so sad. Um, I do need to pick up another bottle though. When I bought this, I did buy it secondhand. And when I bought it, it was like halfway full and I've got not even an inch left in this probably. So I definitely haven't like rationed it, but um, the year that I got it, I wore it so, so much that first year that I had it that I've just really like used a ton of it. And I really need 
to find another bottle of it because this one is amazing. It's It's got a very strange note breakdown, but it really works. It's warm, it's Christmassy. Um, you definitely get the rhubarb and the gingerbread, which I love. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. I love this perfume. It's a weird little perfume, but it's really great. Out of all of my Burberry perfumes, this one performs the worst, I would say. But even at the worst, again, I can still get like six hours out of this perfume. It's just not nuclear like all of the other Burberrys I've got. It's still perfectly fine. And I would just have to reapply it, you know, once throughout the day. I guess just to mention it's it's not nuclear like all of the others, but I adore it. It's an amazing perfume. If you ever come across a bottle of this and it sounds interesting to you, I would definitely recommend picking it up because it is getting difficult to find. So anyways, that is Burberry Brit Red. Next we've got Burberry Brit Sheer. I won't spend a ton of time on this because I did just talk about this in my What I Wore Last Week video. This is a beautiful sheer floral fragrance. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's peony and it's got a whole bunch of other florals in it. It's really light. It's got some, I think, light woods and light musk in the base. Really, really light, beautiful floral perfume, perfect for spring. But even though it is a light floral, this thing will stick with you for hours and hours. You'll get at least eight hours out of this perfume, and that's what I'm talking about. Even with a sheer formulation, um, you're still gonna get eight hours out of it easily. They're just, their perfumes just last forever. Um, I don't know if this one's been reformulated yet. I haven't looked recently. If it has been reformulated, it probably doesn't last quite as long as it used to. Um, or as this bottle does, but it's it's pretty much a safe bet that any Burberry that you buy, reformulated or not, is gonna perform really well. So anyways, that is Burberry Brit Sheer. And then last but not least, we've got Burberry Brit Rhythm. I adore this perfume. This is a beautiful powdery lavender fragrance. This one is powdery because it's lavender, it's got, I think it's got blackberry leaf in it, so it's got a touch of greenness to it but it's got Oris in it, and I think it's like an Oris Absolute. So it's like lavender and powdery Oris. Those are the main notes and the most prominent notes. It's got um, Petalia in it, which I think Petalia smells, it's like a, I think it's like a synthetic peony type of fragrance, if I remember correctly. But yeah, again, light musks in the base, maybe some light woods but mostly lavender and orris root. And it's so, so good. This one's really, really calming. There's something about this that I say this every time I talk about this fragrance. It reminds me of a new baby. It reminds me of the smell of a new baby. Like if I would have had this when I had my daughter, this is what I would have worn all of the time because it smells like a new baby, a new mom, um, lavender and powder, really. It's just amazing. And it's nuclear. It's an absolute beast. You can spray this on one time and you will smell like this until you wash it off. It's for being, it's the longest lasting lavender perfume. Well, besides um, besides Lancome Lavon's Trianon, this is the longest lasting lavender in my collection. It's amazing. So anyways, that is Burberry Brit Rhythm. And that is gonna be it, guys. I think those are all of the Burberry fragrances that I've got in my collection. I may be missing one or two, um, but I think that's it. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.